What is going on everyone? Jason from YouTube breaking down the stock market today, April 8th, Thursday. So as we talked about several times over the weekend and even Monday, Tuesday, and yesterday, that we are expecting a lot of sideways trading. And so we've been seeing that. So uh, somebody asked like, what, what exactly do you mean by sideways trading? So we're gonna break it, go into that a little bit. And then uh, stocks I'm looking at, stocks that I'm not actually gonna make a full video on, but I'll go ahead and tell you now, uh, things that I'm looking at buying and then kind of, I don't wanna say rebalancing the portfolio because I'm not doing a whole lot of selling, but just things I'll be looking to add over the next two days. So as always, it's not financial advice, not financial advisor, just some dude from YouTube. All right, so uh, I've been looking at uh, Canoe, G-O-E-V for, I don't know, probably three months, and uh, I did not want to chase it, and I felt like I was I was already chasing enough stuff in January and February. I did not have what it takes or what it took to add another stock and chase it. So, obviously, over the last six weeks, it's gotten completely bought or uh, sold off, completely beat down, and so I actually am adding to GOEV canoe uh, they're in the electric vehicle space and again I, I may do a, a full breakdown on it but it's something I'm just adding a very small position I got it under uh, 10 bucks and so I, I'm pretty excited about that um, and that so I guess that's probably the one new thing I'm buying everything else I'm just looking at um, you know what's what's down for that day so if microvision starts dipping down you know close to $14 I'm going to be adding that. If you know Square were to take a dip under 200 again, I, I would be buying that. You know, it just you you look two weeks ago. I'm I'm loading up on Square, talking about my deep conviction for Square. And I look today, and it's like, oh my my goodness, you know, Square's up 20 percent. You know, and it's uh, and that's how quickly things can move in this kind of market. And it almost happens by accident. And I guess that's the part that makes it sideways trading is that there are so many things moving up and down, so many moving parts that it's easy for you to get distracted on uh, maybe things that are going really poorly or things that are going really well and you don't see the whole market. So I think that's why it's very important every week. And I talk about sitting down and looking at your portfolio and, and trying to decide, are these the stocks I want to ride or die with through what could be another two or three weeks of sideways trading? Now, the last six, seven weeks been completely, you know, bare. We've gotten completely beaten up. So that's a different mindset. But right now, there are going to be winners. And so it's figuring out like, okay, I got some winners here. I'm going to let those run and I'm not going to touch them. I'm not going to, you know, go chasing it and buy more because they may people pull back. But I'm not also going to sell for pennies. I'm not going to sell on a 5% a green day. You know, wow, that's awesome. But what am I looking at buying long term? What am I looking at? What, what do I believe in long term? And so that's why it's so important to have those deep conviction stocks, which we've talked about for the last month. And so, again, mine are Palantir, Square. Um, recently, I told you, you know, that I've gone back and forth on Tesla, but Tesla has fallen into that deep conviction category. Uh, stock like Genius. And so, Genius, you know, two weeks ago last week, it ran all the way up to three bucks. And now it's under two dollars, and so you know, knowing that when it's at three dollars, like okay, I'm comfortable in my position. If it runs up to thirty dollars, so be it. I'm not going to chase it. And then it drops back down to two dollars, and not say, oh man, I missed my mark. It's time to sell it all. It's no, it's under two dollars. This is a good buying opportunity again for me. And so having those price points and having uh, the reasons why you're investing in those stocks is so important because. As I look at the market, you know, we're celebrating, uh, I think the Dow's hit a new high. And it's like, how's it hit a new high? Like, we've gotten, we've gotten completely beaten up over the last six weeks, and yet we're at a new high. And the Dow is up, and yet the Russell is down. And the Russell is down like 2%. NASDAQ was down a little bit. And so, it, you know, that that's the part, I guess, that, that makes it shady. It makes it uh, just interesting. It makes it complicated, you know, whatever word, there's so many adjectives you could use to describe the market right now because you look in one sector and maybe two or three companies are up and two or three companies are down. And you look at your total portfolio and you go, well, it looks like I ended the day, you know, up half a percent and one company's up 3% and one company's down 3% that are in different sectors or maybe the same sectors are usually things that move together. And so it's so important right now to when you have the time in the middle of the day, lunch break, 
end of the day to, to not go chasing those things that are green because they may pull back tomorrow. That you may see a lot of red today in one stock. Okay, that's what I'm doubling down on. And the next day, that stock may be green. Good purchase for me. And if something's green today, okay, I'm going to be comfortable with my position because it may be red tomorrow or it may run green for another few days. And I know it's like, dude, you are way talking in circles. Like, I, I get it. But that's the market we're in. That is what it means to trade sideways, where your favorite stock may be up 1% or 2% and then down 1% or 2% over the course of this week. And it's something that we can't eat. Like, you know, the last six weeks when we got beat up, it's like, buy anything you want. Everything's on sale. Or the six months before that, it's buy whatever you want because it's all going up. But right now for the next, you know, I could see one to three weeks, maybe up to four of this trading sideways. And so my overall, like, what am I doing right now more than anything? I'm just sitting back. Even with Canoe, like, you know, normally I talk about buying at 3% of my total portfolio. I mean, I, I'm talking about maybe half a percent just because I want to keep cash on the sidelines because while I think we are entering a big bull market and I think things are going to go very well for the next, you know, three to six months. I also want to keep money on the sideline just in case that big black swan catastrophic events happens where maybe Fauci comes on and talks about, oh, the virus is worse. Oh, the, you know, the vaccine didn't work or whatever. And the stock market may get killed for two days inside of a big uh, bull market, so I want to be able to have that buying opportunity. Um, or even today, Jerome Powell speaking. <laughs> so anytime Jerome Powell speaks, who knows what's going to happen. And so while I did buy a little bit of canoe this week, I also see myself waiting today around lunchtime when Jerome Powell comes to speak and see, okay, is there going to be anything worth buying? Or as I told you, I talked about uh, that I'm starting to look at index funds more now that I completely sold them all off five, six months ago, and I'm coming back around to them. So today, if I look and I see everything is red across the board, my watch list, the thing I actually own, maybe I'll just say, okay, instead of trying to pick, which I normally do, and I'm that's you know 95% of my money is in individual stocks, that, probably more than that, 97% of my money is in individual stocks, that if everything is red, and I have comfortable positions on all my deep conviction stuff, but there's nothing that's crazy red, just everything's down like a half percent, then that's where I like to go, okay, since everything's red, I feel like I should buy something and I'll buy an index fund. You know, Just buy one of this 3X leverage fund. Buy something maybe in the ARC space, you know, it's down 3% for ARC. Okay, maybe that, that'll be a good buying opportunity. So it gives me more coverage to a wider array of things to take advantage of the whole market being down. And again, sideways market, that's how it works. Uh, I think this morning, Thursday, everything was green. And now I know it's not gonna be green all day, but th that just, I guess we're seeing patterns that we have not seen in a long time. That, that I guess that's the best way to describe it. So if you're new to the market, while these patterns happen, we go through days or weeks or months of this happening, that the last six weeks have been so red and then before that the last six months were so green that this feels weird because we haven't had it recently and again if you're new to the market it all feels new so relax it's normal we've been through this before for me i'm not spending all of my cash on anything but i'm also not hoarding everything either if i see an opportunity i'll take it but if there's no opportunity, if, if this afternoon, if the markets stay green and Powell gets up and talks and everything goes fine, I'll just hold on to my cash and pay down my margin a little bit and I will be completely fine. So anyways, that's what I'm looking at. That's what I'm doing. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below, what stocks are you buying? What stocks are you looking to buy? What stocks are you maybe selling? Um, and just what's your strategy right now as we look at trading sideways over the course of the next few days and probably a few weeks. All right. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Have a good day and I'll see you all in my next video.